Welcome back to the next section of traffic training. In this section, it's all about DNS challenge. So how we're going to use DNS challenges with traffic to automatically generate wildcard certificates. So we're going to do the same exact steps we did previously for HTTP and TLS, where the challenges are, are basically going to Let's Encrypt and generating certificates for us. But we're going to take it a step further and we're actually going to do subdomains of our URL which automatically will update DNS in our provider and then create a certificate for us automatically. That's why we left DNS for the last lab because there's so much more we can do with the automation. And that's really the benefit we wanna see in the automation side of it because less interaction means more time for us. Let's jump over to the lab and see exactly what we're gonna do in the DNS challenge section. If we go down back to our GitHub page, our GitHub repo, 56k cloud training and then we scroll down to the bottom section four and click traffic dns this will take us to the traffic https tls and dns labs and if we scroll down to section three you'll see deploy traffic with let's encrypt dns challenge and then how do we enable the wildcard what's important in this section is before we get started in your DNS provider, you need to create a wildcard DNS record. As you see here, I have star dot my domain dot whatever. So the same for your instance, you need to make sure you have a star dot your domain, which points to your Docker server. This allows you then to generate subdomains automatically and get certificates for these subdomains. Let's see how this works over on DigitalOcean. So DigitalOcean, here's my DNS records, and again. Everything is already pre-populated, so I have WebRanch, I have www, and I have just a naked domain as well. Now, we need a special API token for DigitalOcean, and to do that, we head over to API, generate new token, and we just call it traffic test, and then it automatically generates a token for us. So we go here, and there's our token. We copy that into our Digital Ocean, our, our Docker Compose. So let's look at our Docker Compose first. Uh, DNS, and then we have our DO auth token. So let's delete this token first, and we'll put our new token in place. So this is a brand new token that we generated. Delete. And then down here, you see the host name we're going to use, we're actually going to call this uh, training. So training.webwrench.ch. Now, if you remember the DNS records, there was no training DNS record. Everything else remains the same. And we will save this. And we're doing this a bit backwards, but you understand exactly how this goes. Then we head back to the DNS, the static configuration for traffic, and head down to the bottom. And you can see we need to update our email once again for the DNS section. Brian at 56k.cloud once again. And down here you see the DNS challenge, which provider it is. So DigitalOcean, so it knows which provider to use, which API to use. And this is specific to DigitalOcean. It says delay before check is zero. So we're not delaying, we're checking right away. So let's save that. And now we can actually deploy this. So let's make sure we don't have anything running. Stack RM traffic. And I do have something running. So let's just wait a moment for it to clear out. All right, now we have deleted our previous stack so we can again deploy the new stack. So Docker stack deploy, and we're gonna call it Docker Compose DNS, and we're gonna call it traffic once again. So it's gonna take our digital, digital ocean authentication token. It's gonna incorporate that into our compose file. It's also gonna use the digital ocean provider. So let's start that. And now we're up and running with this. So we can go back to our web browser. We can open up a tab, HTTPS. We're gonna call this uh, slash slash training dot uh, web wrench. There we go. And there you go. We have training dot web wrench dot ch. We automatically generated a certificate for a subdomain and we didn't have to do anything in DNS. It automatically generated this for us. So to ensure this actually works as a subdomain certificate, let's go back to our Docker Compose DNS, and let's call this um, DNS Lab, for example. DNS Lab. 
So we create another subdomain, we update it, we deploy it again. So you see it's updating the service traffic cat app and traffic traffic. We can quickly look at the Docker service logs traffic and see what it's actually doing. So you can see it's changing certificates. It's uh, basically ensuring that we're doing everything as proper and there's no errors in here, which is good. So we can head back to our browser once again. And now we have to change the URL because we have a different subdomain. DNS labs, DNS lab, I think I called it. Yeah, DNS lab. There we go. So we now change subdomains and we have a certificate right away for this domain. Show certificate, there you go. DNS lab.webwrench, beautiful. So we were creating subdomains on our, our main domain and we're generating wildcard certificates at will. So you see how quickly this goes. And just to kind of recap again, how this is all working, if we look at the Docker Compose DNS, we can see this environment variable. We're actually declaring the digital ocean underscore auth underscore token. This gives traffic the ability to talk to the DigitalOcean API and actually change the DNS records, update it, read it, so make these changes. And that's why we were able to make this work. Now, depending upon which DNS provider you're using, you'll have different tokens here based on your provider. Now, this is not best practice to store tokens in plain text, as you see here. Best practice don't is use secrets to load DNS tokens. So I'll create also a secrets compose file that you can use so to understand how to protect this because we don't want this in plain text. We don't want people seeing this. Um, I'll delete it after this so no one can use it either. But you see, we don't want this uh, readily available for people to use. So that's why we, we recommend people using secrets. So this is in hidden from prying eyes. We're successfully able to update certificates and change certificates. Now, part of the magic in this is if you remember, we created a directory. There's a directory actually already created called Let's Encrypt, and that's where we're storing our certificates. Because what happens is when we start and stop con the traffic container or delete the traffic container, if the certificate was in the container, it gets deleted. And if you try to query the Let's Encrypt API too many times, you'll eventually hit a rate limit and you'll get blocked. So it's always good to keep a copy of your Let's Encrypt certificates locally. So you can also back them up so you can see here's my acme.json. If we take a look at that quickly, we can see there's the certificates. Uh, if we scroll up, there's the key. There's you know training.webwrench. And if I go up further, you'll see the DNS lab as well. And there's the DNS lab. So you can see the certificates are stored locally and we're just mounting the certificate into the container. And then traffic and let's encrypt is in managing these certificates for us. Again, this is good practice to store the, the certificates outside the container because if you delete the container and the certificates are in the container, you lose your certificates. It's not tragic, but if you do it too many times, you'll hit a rate limit and then you have to wait a week before you can actually get a new certificate. So please be aware of that. And that is all for the DNS lab. And we successfully deployed traffic with DNS challenge. We were using subdomains. We were actually using wildcard certificates. We changed the subdomain. We never had to change the DNS records to match our subdomain. So this is done automatically by traffic and Let's Encrypt. And then eventually we got wildcard certificates assigned to our DNS lab.webwrench and training.webwrench. So it works as advertised. That is all for this section. Join me in the recap in the next section.